Hey everyone, I'm coming to you to show you how to make a glitter wine glass. Um, it's very easy. Well, what you need is a Dollar Tree wine glass, some glitter, some alcohol, of course a cotton ball to, uh, you know, for the alcohol, a foam brush, which I think it works good to do the Mod Podge. Um, so the first step you will be doing is putting the Mod part on the stem of the glass. Now what I have is the glossy Mod Podge, as you can see here. They do have dishwasher safe um, Mod Podge, but I couldn't find that in my local Walmart, so this would do. Um, so I'm going to just squirt the Mod Podge into this little Petri dish, which is actually a Yankee Candle top. Um, recycle. So what you're going to do is, you know, dip your brush in it and just spread it. Um, just put it on there. I will do an even layer. Um, make sure it's no clumps in it. Make sure it's really smooth, as you can see um, I'm doing here. Just making sure that it's really, really smooth. Um, you don't want those clumps in it because those clumps and things will show through your glitter. Mod Podge do tend to dry a little fast, so if you see me rushing to do it, then that's the reason why. Um, but let's see here. Almost done with this. I'm hoping that I only have to do one layer of glitter, but being that I didn't paint the stem first, with the main base um i might have to do two two coats it's not a big deal um, so as you see i got my mod podge on i'm going to sit the mod podge to the side and i will be grabbing my glitter now with me i tend to feel like um putting glitter in a tub wear is easier it catches it um i do use a spoon you can get these at your local dollar tree it comes with like maybe two or three in a pack let's see like i said i'm gonna have to do more than one coat <laughs> um which is okay um, i'm okay with that um see, it didn't coat it that bad you know it didn't coat it that much but it's okay um let's see So now it has to dry a little before we do our second coat. So as this dry, um, Tell me some colors you would want to see me do. Right here it's gonna be black as the stem. Um, I wanna try other colors. I wanna do other types of cups as well. So, hopefully this dries quick. But, let's see. I'm gonna attempt to do it. You do want to let the Mod Podge dry um, between each application, but, but for video purposes, um, I'm just going to go ahead and encode it so this video can be, you know, pretty quick. It doesn't take Mod Podge that long to dry. Um, to me, I think it take maybe 10 minutes or so. I'm doing the second coat, as you can see.
now that I have it coated with the Mod Podge, I'm gonna sprinkle more glitter. Glitter is my best friend. They say diamonds are girl best friend, but baby, let me tell you, I love me some glitter. Um, oh, that is coming out really pretty, you guys. This is the second coat of Mod Podge. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and just going to let it dry. Oh, I nicked a little piece, but that's okay. Just put more glitter on it. Here's that. Let's clean it up more. It's got loose particles on there. Which is okay. It's so now we wait. So while the Mod Podge is drying, I'm going to apply my design onto my wine glass. First, I'm going to take a cotton ball and some alcohol, which you can get. I have it. I got this alcohol from Walmart. What you want to do is wipe your wine glass off where you're going to apply your design with alcohol. And that helps the decal stay on and things like that. So I just wiped my wine glass with the alcohol. And I have my design that I designed with my Cricut. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Just waiting for the alcohol to dry a little. Let me just dry it a little myself. And I'm gonna apply the S first, which stands for Shay, which is my name. Let's see. Try to be steady with that. Then, you know, just make sure it's on there. I have a scraper here. Um, to make sure the decal is like all the way on there before I peel it off. You see, my S is on there. Now it's time to add the second part to it. This is actually my first time making one of these, so we shall see how it comes out, how it plays out. Let's see. So far, so good. Here's that. So now what I'm going to do is just wait for it to dry 
this part and then I'm gonna coat this with one last coat of Mod Podge to seal the glitter in. By the way, you guys, this is my first YouTube video, so if you like it, you like my crafts, which will be more on here, like, comment, subscribe, um, tell me what I could have done better or, or whatever, so just waiting for it to dry. I'm just gonna add my my sealer. I'm gonna seal it already. I'm trying to be careful. Hey, you guys, I wasn't telling my daughter no, she couldn't have a sandwich. I was shaking my head so she wouldn't interrupt my video. So now that will dry and my base will be done, the whole good or wine glass will be done. Um, and I will show you all my finishing product. Thank you.